Hey guys, I am really sick right now, but with all of this crazy stuff going on in the world right now, I needed to come and make a very quick video about a few of the sort of current event things happening. So please just bear with me. So I'm gonna tell you a little story before we really begin here. Um, <laughs> I was, the other night, I've just had like the worst week ever. The other night, I was, you know, working on my book that I was supposed to have to the publisher earlier this week. Of course, I'm still working on things because I got sick as fuck. But anyways, uh, so I was working on my book and I was kind of chatting with uh, one of my YouTube, new YouTube friends on FetLife. And I'm so sorry that I haven't gotten back to you. I dropped out like mid conversation. Um, I got struck like, like a freight train with a migraine. Um, I do suffer from migraines uh, sort of fairly regularly. I usually get at least one per month, um, which is a lot better than a lot of people. So I'm not going to complain too much. But so that knocked me on my ass for about three days. That's usually that's normal for me for migraines. Um, you know, you don't want all the computer screens when your head is like horribly painful and light hurts your eyes and you're throwing up and all that kind of fun stuff. So then I'm like, oh, okay, well, I, my head hurts less, my throat hurts a lot, but I have been throwing up, so maybe that's why. And then it turns out, no, I just got this nasty fucking uh, flu or whatever that's been going around. Um, all my friends have been complaining about it. People I don't even know are complaining about it. I see everyone talking about it on social media. Everyone's been sick. And now I am also sick. So my throat hurts. I'm getting stuffed up. I'm just, I feel like crap. So I have been drinking a lot of tea lately. So just enjoy my mug while I have a little sip here. This, by the way, is my favorite mug. I love it. Bet you can guess why. Ooh, too close. Okay, there we go. There, you can read it right there. Anyways, uh, so the first thing that I want to address is the absolute freak out at FetLife. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys who watch these videos have a, an account over at FetLife. If you don't, FetLife is Facebook for kinky people. Um, there's a lot of issues with the site and I'm not gonna get into all of that, um, but there can be a lot of issues with the site, including that there's a lot of drama over there because it's you know the internet and so the internet is for, it's for people to freak the fuck out at each other. Um, also porn, but mostly to freak out at each, each other. But anyways, um, if you don't have an account, go get one. It's free. You know, you don't have to do anything and give them like an email address or whatever. But anyways, that's besides the point. They release some new content guidelines and I'm going to read those to you right now and then we'll have a little talk about them. So let me just pull that up on my screen here. So it, the title is Changes to Our Content Guidelines. Um, and it's being posted by John Baku. This is his official uh, account. So he is the owner of FetLife. And of course he kind of vague books it the way he usually does, uh, which drives everybody crazy. So let's hear what he had to say. He said, we just got some bad news. We can no longer allow FetLifers to publicly share sexual pics and vids containing blood visible in them, which is such a crappy, crappy sentence. And I know this because I've been editing my book and fixing all of my crappy, crappy sentences. But that's a terrible sentence and we'll talk about why in a few minutes because it is important uh, it's not just me being like a grammar nazi or anything but as much as this saddens us going back to the statement as much as this saddens us there is nothing we can currently do about it particularly with the current political climate and then he adds an update we appreciate everybody wanting to stay within our content guidelines, but instead of removing any of your current pics and vids from your profile, I recommend that you wait for a caretaker to review your profile for you. If you want them to review your content sooner rather than later, you can always email support at fetlife.com. So that is the statement. And he posted that in the uh, FetLife announcements forum. And so of course, everybody is responding. I think they're when, by the time I filmed this, there was 24, almost 25 pages worth of responses. There'll probably be more by the time this video gets posted um, because people are freaking out. Now, I'm going to guess because I don't know for sure. Nobody really knows for sure. That's all we have to go on is his uh, little couple of uh, paragraph statement there. 
But what I am going to assume he's talking about is that you cannot post videos that contain both sexual images and blood. So they have to be together in one image or video. Um, and the reason that I'm, I think that this is the case is because this is a normal sort of thing that we get um, through a lot of the uh, like websites where we sell fetish clips and things like that. So I have uh, an, an account and a store over at Clips for Sale. I can't post a link because YouTube will shut me down. But if you want to see what I have for sale over there, it's uh, you can just search Morgan Thorne and everything will come up. Um, and I haven't updated my store in forever. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. But anyways, um, we have regulations there, but what we can and cannot put up on the site. And the reason for that is the credit card companies and the processors and everything, Visa and MasterCard and Amex and everybody else are really conservative, right? So they have rules um, that, you know, say that we have to like, you know, obey the law. So you can't have uh, crush videos. So like videos where you're crushing small animals uh, or insects or any of that. And I mean, yay, because uh, like, I'm sorry if that's your kink, but you know, that's, that's also cruelty to animals. Um, so, ew, just not for me. And, and I don't think anyone should uh, be doing that. And it's illegal. Um, you can't upload bestiality because illegal. Um, so we have restrictions like that. But there's also restrictions of consensual activities that we cannot post. So one of those things is blood in sexual images. So it's assumed because it is a like a fetish clip site, um, you know, and a lot of it is very sexually explicit and things like that. It's it's a porn site, basically. Um, so because of that, you cannot post any images that have, or videos rather in this case, that have any blood in them. So for someone like me that does a lot of medical stuff, I can't post some of the stuff that I would like to because, well, there's blood. So, I mean, we play around with it. We kind of get around the rules sometimes. So like I have lots of videos of, uh, you know, a medical play. Uh, so like I've done saline inflations on there and I've got play piercing and stuff like that. Um, and I just make sure that I edit out the parts if there's any blood uh, visible in them. Right. So uh, I'm, I'm really used to these rules. Uh, so I think that this is the same thing. Um, what as, as this new announcement from FetLife. You know, people freaked out last time that there was a big announcement about some of the content restrictions um, because uh, FetLife said that we can't post any bestiality. I think that's fair. We can't post, you know, underage. Totally cool. Because I mean, both of those things are illegal. And like, I don't want, I wouldn't want to be associated with a website that allowed any of that stuff anyways, because that just really disturbs and disgusts me. Um, so there's those kind of things. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, you can't talk about incest um, unless you make clear that it's fantasy. Um, now all on clip sites, you usually can't do anything. Like you can't uh, use the words mommy or daddy, things like that. Um, so you see a lot of auntie and uncle kind of things, <laughs> but um, you, you can't even like sort of imply underage. You can't imply incest. Now on, on Fat Life, it's a different story. Um, I do believe that they allow a lot more uh, leeway when it comes to like erotica and stories and things like that. Um, but check the terms of use. Don't rely on me to like, because I don't do that kind of stuff. It's not my kink. So I don't know for sure because I just, like I said, I don't, I don't get into it. So it doesn't really matter to me to know the rules surrounding it. Um, but anyways, with this blood thing, I think that it's going to be the same idea where, you know, FetLife sells ads, uh, they take credit cards, um, you know, this is how they keep the website going. So they need to be able to keep those credit card companies happy. So people are freaking out, they're blaming Obama, they're ba blaming Trump, they're blaming Canada, they're blaming the laws in the UK, everything else. So just for the record, in Canada, we do not have any new rules or laws concerning pornography at the moment. Yes, there is, um, you know, a parliamentary committee that is going to look into uh, pornography at some point over the next year. Um, we don't really expect much to come from that. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated as that goes. Um, I've written about it on my website. I think my website is down right now, too. Like, it's, it's just been a kick in the ass kind of week. So... Um, 
you can check out my website if it's up. And if not, then I have to, you know, yell at my uh, provider and everything else. But anyways, um, there's that. Uh, the UK's laws do not affect us in any way. Like England doesn't own Canada anymore. That was something else that a lot of people were talking about on Fat Life. Um, so yeah, no, no. England doesn't matter as far as our laws. We have completely separate laws and government systems and everything else. Um, we, we have a representative of the Queen that is a absolutely, like, it's just a, a ceremonial position. It doesn't actually have any, uh, like, they just do what the government wants. Basically, they don't have any actual power. Um, so anyways, it's not because of the laws in the UK. I don't think that it has anything to do with either Obama or Trump, although Baku did allude to the political situation or climate or whatever. And I think that he means that, um, you know, a lot of the new administration in the US coming in is going to be fairly conservative. Um, and while it is a Canadian website, um, I don't know if the servers are based in Canada or the US. Um, the servers that I use are based all over the place, right? So it's sort of like, you know, I never bothered to find out which exactly which server my website is on and where it's, you know, whatever. Because, you know, most of these places have similar laws. And if you want your website to be able to show up in certain countries, you have to obey their laws anyways, right? So it's just like you go to all of these uh, websites and they talk, they give you a little warning about cookies. Now there's a British law um, uh, that came in. And so, but everybody does it because they want their website to be visible in the UK, right? So that's, it's just what you do. Um, so anyways, yeah, people are freaking the fuck out about FetLife, talking about how this is the end of the website and they're all going to leave and everything else. And I don't know, I'm just kind of laughing about it because I've been following these rules as shitty as they may be. And trust me, there's a lot more that are a lot shittier um, for clip stores for a very long time. I've had my store for a long time. So it's, um, you know, like we're not allowed to do urination on people, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. Um, but you're not allowed to urinate on people. You're not allowed to uh, have all four limbs bound and have penetration in the same scene, like at the same time. Um, so <laughs> I've made a couple of clips and then been like, oops, can't put that one up. Damn it. Um, so that's happened. Uh, you can't show fisting, um, because apparently fisting is obscene, but you can stick four fingers in. That's cool. But the moment you add that thumb, no. So I don't know. I don't get it. It's no, I don't make the rules. I don't understand the credit card companies and their reasoning a lot of the time, but that's what it is. And so I think that that's the same case for FetLife, that it's just the credit card companies. So this is a bit of a ramble because I'm sick and I'm not organizing my thoughts well, but so I apologize for that. But let's talk about some pee. Um, because of course, the thing that everybody is talking about right now is this, you know, unsubstantiated report about Donald Trump that the Russians have this like blackmail material on him and it's regarding water sports. Now I'm not going to go there. Okay. Like I'm not even just no, but the thing that I did want to ask you guys is if you are curious about water sports, would you like a video on it? I'm more than happy to do that. I've taught a class on water sports in the past. Um, it is still up on my website as something I like an optional uh, component to a larger class that I can teach. I don't mind teaching about that kind of stuff. If it is something that you're interested in, and if it's even just like, why the fuck would anyone do that? I'm more than happy to make a video. So let me know in the comments if that is something that you're interested in and you want to see. Um, obviously not the act of doing it, but a video about, you know, safety concerns and, you know, how to, how to actually go about doing it and things like that. Tips and tricks, that sort of thing. Um, I'm happy to make that video. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we can like, how we can kind of work that with YouTube's rules too. Um, we don't want to break the rules here because I like having a channel here and I don't want to lose that. But at the same time, I do want to educate you guys on the subjects that you want to learn about. So let me know if that is something you want me to include. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about right now very quickly is uh, the, and I don't know exactly how current this is. It just kind of came across my uh, like radar recently is the arrest. And I think she took off of Whitney, Wisconsin 
um, who I don't know if you guys are aware of her, but she was doing some really awful non-consensual videos uh, that involved uh, touching herself and then having going up to men and having them smell her fingers and telling them it's her new perfume and what do they think about it. So a few of them have complained because they didn't know that, you know, they weren't in on it or anything like that. And that's a horrifically non-consensual thing to do. Um, so she's uh, got some charges. Um, from what I understand, she was involved in some pretty nasty stuff, including bestiality. Um, and, and I don't know if there's charges surrounding that or not, but it's an interesting case nonetheless and something that we will probably keep up with um, either here or on my website. I'm not sure which um, I'm going to write about uh, or, you know, do a video about, whichever. Um, and then the last thing is that I am going to have an announcement uh, like this weekend, maybe next week, regarding uh, my book because that is coming out very soon. I'm also going to have a cool video about Sexapalooza in Ottawa, which is coming up at the end of the month, um, which if you are in the Ottawa area, you can come out and see me at Sexapalooza. I will be there, I will be teaching, but I will have more information on that very shortly. Um, and I think that's about it. I'm gonna go and drink my tea and curl up with my blanket again, because I feel like crap. So anyways, thank you for checking this out. I'm uh, sorry for rambling and sorry for being sick on video and whatever. But anyways, thank you guys so much. And thank you so much for like everybody who's joined recently. I keep seeing that subscriber number like go up and up and up. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe because, you know, I have to say that at least once in a video. And anyways, I'll see you guys in a couple of days when I am feeling better. Bye.